Hi guys, welcome back, and I'm really excited. I'm gonna go over the top 10 supplements to help reverse and cure Hashimoto's in hypothyroid condition. Um, you know, some indicators you might need this. Maybe your lab works off, maybe it's, the lab works normal, but you're, you're low energy, you're gaining weight, you have all the co common signs and symptoms. Here's the top 10 supplements I found to be the most effective. The first one is selenium. If you could only use one um, supplement, I would say selenium is the number one thing. And you want to be between 200 and 400 um, micrograms of that. Um, and that's gonna really help with thyroid function, the conversion from T4 to T3, and help with any uh, free radical damage. So the second one is L-glutamine and N-acetylcysteine. I would take those together, and those help um, with inflammation of the thyroid, and actually work together to reduce oxidative stress. When T4 is converted into T3 and in your, th your thyroid makes these hormones, Ox there's an oxidative process that happens and free radicals are reduced. And these two supplements help to negate those effects. Um, the third supplement, uh, not really a supplement, but coconut oil is amazing. One teaspoon of that a day, that's gonna really help heal and ease the side effects from the Hashimoto's. It's antiviral, it's antibacterial, and can really help with any underlying causes that's causing this. Uh, the fourth thing, iodine. It's a very tricky subject. Now with iodine, you only want to take that if your Hashimoto's and your antibodies are, are low. They're within normal limits. Um, you need to do that first before you do iodine, because if you don't, it's like pouring gasoline on a fire. It's actually going to make the problem much worse. So really do your research, and, you know, talk to your physician before you take iodine. Um, the fifth thing is probiotics. You need a healthy gut in order to to convert these hormones. About 20% of T4 is converted into T3, the active form, in your gut. You gotta have good probiotics in your gut to do that. Um, you know, the fifth thing is ashwagandha. One of the leading causes of Hashimoto's and hypothyroid symptoms is actually adrenal fatigue. Ashwagandha helps heal your adrenals and reduce the stress hormone called cortisol in your blood. There's two amazing things. Um, the sixth one, DHEA, um, is actually produced by your adrenals, and taking a supplement form can help re rebalance your immune system there. Um, the other, another one is zinc. You want to take zinc with copper, though, in the right balance. Do your research and find that balance. Um, but zinc is very important in the conversion of T4 to T3. You can have all the T4 in the world, but if it can't get converted and can't get into your cells, doesn't matter. Your blood work's gonna be normal. You're still gonna have all the same problems. Another one is magnesium. Almost everyone now is deficient in magnesium. Um, it causes a host of problems. So magnesium is extremely important. Um, for working with Hashimoto's and hypothyroid conditions. Uh, a really another big one is curcumin, the active ingredient in turmeric, and that actually helps reduce inflammation in the body. And um, you know, one of the things with Hashimoto's, it's inflammation in the body causing an autoimmune attack to the thyroid. Curcumin can help reduce that, and it's also found to be antiviral, antibacterial. Infections is also one of the hidden causes of these hypothyroid conditions and um, can help kind of mitigate that. Um, you know, the last little bonus, that's 10 of them. The last, I'm gonna give you one bonus one, and that would be herbs and anything that's antiviral, antibacterial, such as garlic, oil of oregano. Um, all these herbs are amazing at, at, at reducing infections and viruses in the body and really have a lot of healing properties to help heal and reset the thyroid. Those are the top 10. Start adding those in, you know, to your lifestyle and I guarantee you it's gonna make a world of difference to how you feel.